Hi everybody. Welcome to the Roy Family Homestead. Today, we're getting started on our lavender farm. All right, so my dad's out here helping me and Ron get these rows run and we're trying to get the equipment set so that we get our mound on our robe um, just right so it's perfect for those lavenders um, lavender cuttings that we have at the house and we want to make sure there's plenty of room in between each row too so that we can plant just some fescue in between and Ron can come out here with the um, The mower and he can cut in between so he keeps it nice and nice and neat I was marking dad's row there for him so I couldn't move until the last minute so this this hair that dad got for us uh, has been sitting down just a little history has been sitting down behind my granddaddy's house and dad said it probably has not been used in 40 years it's just a small six foot dis hair that dad said was the first dis hair they had here on the farm when his dad's dad we started tending this land and they had to dis this entire farm which not this particular land we didn't own this part but parts of the land back over this direction and that's the only dis hair they had. So it has been here on this farm working. Now we brought it out of retirement to help with us the lavender. It's pretty awesome. Looks like they're on the other side there doing some serious figuring. <laughs> so just to kind of give you guys an idea where we're at through those trees right there, almost directly on the other side um, is where the house is, in the little homestead. Uh, and this, every, all the land behind the house is my father's, it's in our, in the, you know, our family farm. And dad has, you know, he's, he's getting to the point where he's slowing down some. And so we decided that we wanted to make sure that this land stayed in the family and something that I and Ron and you know our family could kind of take over and we didn't want to do not really the same thing they do they do corn and beans and stuff like that and that's not something really that you know we're interested in doing that sense farming so we started researching on lavender farms and it can be very profitable um, once you get things established maintenance is pretty low so this is our start. We're gonna start out with about 500 plants, three different varieties, and we'll get into those later. We will, um, hopefully, we'll make a go of this, um, and we'll kind of bring you guys along for the ride. This is definitely something new for everybody involved. So that's why we're kind of doing it as we go. But just, you know, I don't know that we've ever brought and had a video up here on the family farm. Um, but this this land, this is where I grew up, this beautiful track of land. And I absolutely am in heaven when I'm out here on the farm. This is something I wanna do. This is where I wanna be. Um, uh, we raise our girls here so they have the same values. And sorry, I about got in trouble. I was supposed to measure off six feet to keep the, <laughs> so dad has a row marker to come down at and he's gonna hurt me. I wasn't paying attention, I was talking, oops. I get distracted, it's okay. But anywho, we got this. Good morning everybody, it's day two in the lavender field. We are doing adjustments, figuring out how to use the piece of equipment to get this fabric down and trenched in so we can get the lavender plugs in the ground and let them start growing. It's very exciting. Come watch. What are we doing today? 
Clinton Avenue. You got to hold a shovel just like Randy is holding it. If it does that, please. See how it's pushing that little dirt up there? See, that's what you want. Let's keep it. This is harder. <laughs> Where's the spray paint? On the tailgate. Don't touch the plastic. in the trench on either side of the road before we lay down the fabric. doing real good. Laying the plastic down and then coming back. We dig a trench first. We lay the plastic down and we come back and reverse the, the implement here and uh, cover it back up. So got four more rows to do and then we will start planting again. Got 500 plants out here. What you doing, Danica? Be a spider monkey. <laughs> Be a spider monkey. Say so you're helping pull and straighten. I'm helping pull and straighten. What you doing, Ava? Same thing that she's doing. Sweet. Keep pulling. Back away, let Grant. Well, I got to stand. Hey, don't. <clears throat> well, hey guys, uh, we are uh, planting our lavender today, or some of it today. We're probably not going to get it all. Uh, Penny had to work, so uh, I'm kind of out here on my own. Uh, as Penny showed you, uh, we've got. Uh, six rows so far with the uh, underlayment uh, plastic down uh, this stuff is woven it's supposed to last like five years in direct sunlight we're hoping it'll last longer once the um, the lavender has you know is shading it so it, you know it should last us a good long while uh, but you can't cut the holes in this you have to burn them so I'm gonna go through I'm gonna mark three foot sections or the plants need to be three foot apart, uh, and we're going to uh, start putting uh, putting these lavender plugs in. So uh, come with me. All right, uh, <clears throat> what I got here? This is a it's called a micro torch. Uh, it's uh, run by butane, and what we're going to do is we're just going to um, we'll go through. I'm going to lay a tape measure out, and then I'm just going to burn a small little hole every three foot apart. Uh, just to mark it and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the torch and I'm gonna burn an X into it or a 
plus sign, whatever you want to call it. Depends on which way you look at it, right? <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to cut that out so that um, as the plant grows, you know, uh, it can expand. Um, and I don't want to cut a big circle out because I do. if I do, then that's going to let weeds grow through. So the more plastic we have covering around that plant, the, la the less weeds there's going to be. Uh, so I'm going to go out here. I'll move the camera. I'll set it down and just kind of show you what I'm doing. All right. All right, guys, it's just that easy. I'm gonna go through and uh, do all the rest of them, get them marked out uh, three foot. Each one of these plants needs to be three feet apart from each other, so here we go. We started losing some, uh, but I, uh, we counted, or I counted before I started culling them out, 229 plants. Had to cull out about 16 of them, which it, it worked out because we've got 213 um, spots now for these six rows. So we'll be able to plant every one of these out here on these existing rows. Now we've got um, a couple of more trays at home that we're gonna try to plant tomorrow, uh, which is probably gonna take, if, all, if we don't have to cull many of those, I'm thinking three, maybe four more rows tomorrow that we'll put in plastic and uh, get the lavender plugs put in. Uh, we started out with 500. We're probably gonna end up with 450-ish maybe plants, which will be great for us. We're just starting out. Um, these things take you know two years to mature to where you can start getting uh, good cuts out of them. Now we should still be able to get some cuts um, in, in the second year uh, when they bloom. Uh, but the, the end of the second year, third year is where we're going to get, you know, uh, a really good stock going. So anyway, I'm going to take these and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pre-water them a little bit because they are a little dry. They've been in the greenhouse. So I'm going to pre-water them a little bit and um, then we're going to start planting. I've uh, given these, a, uh, these lavender plants or plugs a good, uh, a good soaking because uh, they were a little bit dry. I'm letting them sit here for just a little bit, take me a little water break, um, and then we're gonna go out and start planting them. I'm gonna leave my camera here and just kind of zoom out, maybe do like a time-lapse uh, video. I'm gonna do the first row, um, and then, uh, then I'm gonna cut the camera off so I can kind of concentrate on getting all the rest of these planted. Uh, I'm hoping, uh, this is Saturday, I'm hoping to get these, uh, at least these plants in today. And then tomorrow, uh, Penny's off work. So me and her and her father are gonna come out here, go ahead and put the plastic down, maybe four more rows and that'll be enough for all of our plants and get the rest of them planted tomorrow. Uh, give them a good watering and keep our fingers crossed. The good Lord willing, we'll have some uh, beautiful lavender uh, in two years. So here we go. You can see behind me here, but I've got four of the uh, rows planted. I'm about 70-ish plants shy of having all six rows done. Got the plants over here, but guys, 
I've been up since 5.30 this morning and my butt is dragging. It's about five o'clock now. And uh, so I'm gonna call it a day. We probably got four more rows that we need to put plastic on uh, in the morning. Uh, we're gonna be out here at daybreak getting that set up. Uh, that way, uh, hopefully by tomorrow afternoon, we'll have all of our uh, lavender plants, or they're not called plants, uh, what are they called? Uh, Oh Lord, I forgot. But anyway, y'all know what I'm saying. Plugs, lavender plugs put in the ground. Um, everything that I've planted today has been watered. Uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll come out. We can see some improvement because they were wilting a little bit. Um, so we're hoping to see a little bit of, of improvement with them in the ground now. Uh, so guys, come see us tomorrow. <laughs>